Hey guys, today we're going to be checking out this brand new huge Gigo Arcade they have here in Ikebukuro, Tokyo, Japan. This thing was not here the last time we were here. It is a multi-floor arcade, guys. Yeah, and look how blue it is from out here. There's so many claw machines. Not only on the first floor, the second floor has claw machines. The third floor, I forgot what it has. The basement has rhythm games. It is a giant arcade. Wow, just look at this. This is only one row here at the bottom. Nothing but many claw machines over here. Did I say many? I mean many, many claw machines. Down that way, there's a lot of claw machines. There's another row of claw machines. And then over here, guess what? Another row of claw machines. And look, there's a wild crystal looking for change over there. Hey, Chris! So, of course, they have all the food machines. This isn't really a claw machine, but it's still a food machine. They have some claw machines over here that have food. These games are a lot of fun, but they're so difficult. You gotta stop the light right on where the arrows are. If you stop enough on the different arrows, the, uh, each time you stop on it, a peg goes down, but if you get enough of the pegs go down, eventually the big towers will fall, or in this case, this big chocolate bar. This kind of game is really fun here in Japan. All you gotta do is use that plunger or that poker, poke it right on the yellow section, and it tips the platform, and you win prizes. Hello again, Chris. Yeah, I'm still showing all the claw machines. Oh my gosh, there's so many claw machines. It's actually pretty cool too because we've noticed that they actually organize them all by like type. Like so over here we have like Pokemon. Over here look Sanrio. And uh, it's really cool since we've been here. We've noticed that they have that at this arcade where they do kind of arrange them in some kind of order. Oh, oh man, this one's new. This was not here the other day. It's a new Mickey. We might have to play for that in a second. In the backpack here, they actually have some of these like hammer type games. Basically what you do in this game is, you get this little pink thing and you want it to, it's gonna move constantly back and forth and you can press the button whenever you're ready to drop it. And if you stop it instantly right there in the middle where it's gonna land and hit that pink thing right there, it will hit it and then it should drop your prize. If it doesn't drop it, you just go tell them and they'll bring you your prize. But yeah, they have, oh, look at that. They have a, um, a Tom one. You want to try for that, Chris? Because Crystal was able to win from this just the other day. I'm going to switch sides with you because it's on that side. Yeah. They have some Samuel stuff over here. They have the claw in there! Oh, the Alright, let's see. Can Crystal do it? It does take a couple times usually to try to get it lined up. a little too much to the last. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, you're right! Oh, it teases you too! But yeah, if you get it just right, you win. Yeah. And that's all you got to do. It's It seems really easy, but... This game is it's, fun. I feel like they, uh, this is definitely a set payout game. Oh yeah, definitely. But it feels like it could be skill no. as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh that felt good. that's good. Crystal says it's good. She knows when it's good. It's not good. <laughs> oh, it's not good. That's all right. We got a lot more to play. Right around here, guess what, guys? It's another super long row of claw machines. This is like a dream, you know? You have dreams like, oh, I'm in a claw machine arcade that has never-ending rows, and then there's a crystal right there, dancing. Oh, thrust those hips, Chris, thrust them! But there are so many machines. One thing, though, that we've noticed about this giant arcade here, this Gigo, is that a lot of the big machines, not these over here, these are the small machines, but the big machines, like these over here, are 200 yen per play. And that's not usual. Usually they're like 100 and maybe like 200 for like a, like brand new stuff but here this is 200 like some of these we've seen in other arcades here in Ikebukuro and they'll be like 100 per play but like it's guaranteed that the Pokemon are 200 per play hey we haven't got this one yet I know I look at this Pikachu it looks so cool come on Captain Pikachu to the rescue but yeah, 200 per play. It's just, it's a little off-putting. I know, but I want to see how much this moves. I think you can definitely tell, oh, you can definitely tell who they're targeting with this arcade. It's definitely tourists. It's brand new. It's right in the front of the main road here for all the arcades. But look at this, so many Pokemon. You guys, I told you, they have Pokemon on the other side. Then they have all these Pokemon. Then they have all, and I'm just going to circles, guys. I know it's crazy. I'm getting dizzy myself. But they have so much stuff here. Like, look at this, 200 for this? Like, this does not make sense for 200 per play. My, but it is a cool arcade. I would definitely say you have to check out. But see, it's 200. Oh, one cool thing is they have the newest UFO catchers, UFO Catcher 10, which are cool. Hey, we haven't seen this one. But, but Chris, you, you have to understand, if you play this, it's going to take more than one play. And you're going to end up, yeah, at least five plays. It is super awesome, and we haven't seen it yet, so that's cool. I showed them briefly. There were a lot of people up here, but look how many, many claw machines, guys. 
So each one of these, all right, Crystal said, look at this. Joysticks for days. If I go right here, it looks like maybe one or two joysticks. But I come this way, it's like holy moly. That is a ton of joysticks. But yeah, each one of these is four machines. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's like nine, 18, 36 times 72 claw machines. Just over there, plus I didn't count the end caps. So many. Of course, Crystal is gonna play for some sweet looking desserts you here. Know it. Hey, the, the claw has rubber grippers. Oh, do they? They don't all have rubber no. grippers though. I think this one does because it has plastic in it. Yeah. Yes, let's see. Oh. 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 That one actually sounded strong, but did you see at the end it kind of did like an extra. Yeah, I'm gonna try one more time. It did that because it was gonna let go. Oh, no. These are only 100 yen per play, which is normal. Yeah. Booyah! Oh. You see? Oh, it's still let go and you still got it. You are not going to trick us. Look not today. So uh, that dessert has a face. Yes. You guys see that? There is a bear on that dessert because it barely held on long enough. Time to go up to the second floor. We we'll actually go down to the basement at the last at the end because it's way back down in the basement. So we don't want to go there just yet. But wait until you see what's up here, guys. Guess what it is. It's more claw machines. Oh yeah, and the gym pushers up here, which is really cool. But first we're gonna show some of the uh, claw machines. This is the floor that has like the figures. The figures will be back that way in a second. But these gym pushers are really cool. I would definitely say come check these out because it's not like a normal gym pusher. These gym pushers, you get 30 seconds nonstop that you can play for 100 yen. Yeah, one coin, that's really cool because we have played this kind of gym, push, uh, gym pusher in the past and we spent one coin per play and we spent so many plays. But in this, you can get like, I think four plays in 30 seconds. So, I mean, it, it, it's gonna take a lot of plays regardless, but it's really cool that you can do that. This machine is especially cool, guys, because it's a Kirby machine. Look at Chris, she's just rapid fire. It's a Kirby that has 30 seconds of play. Yeah, it's so neat. I oh. think, oh, you got the bird back there. Yeah, so she hasn't put another coin in. She's just playing this all from that one. So you, yeah. you kind of, I think, we just want to push them nonstop. Nah, just blah, 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 blah. Just yeah, him. but this is really neat. Because, like like I said, you... Hey, you might get the hamster. Get the hamster. Hurry, I have six seconds. Oh, yeah, so how many times did you go down? Three? I think that's my fourth. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you're still winning gems there. Come on, open it. Hurry up. Okay, oh, I'm let's out. see. Is anything going to happen here? Oh, Aww. the door closed. Even if something does happen, it's going to fall. Okay, nothing okay. did happen there. So, yeah, that is super cool. They even have more Pokemon up here. What is this guy? Or this thing? It wasn't here the other day. Wow, that thing is big. But guess what? It's still 200 yen, which is... <laughs> I see Chris just saying, whoa, and like, what's going on? Well, it's a lot of claw machines. Oh, and then now we're starting to get into the, like, figures and the local anime like rave whatever's going on currently because you'll notice that it changes oh i didn't notice they had this one here last time it says outlet. Cool. oh See, so easy. so usually in the outlet claws here in japan it means it's really easy but the outlets Ooh. sometimes cost a lot more than usual this yeah. one's 300 so it should be a guaranteed win if you get it right in the right spot hey you got Yu Gi Oh, blue eyes white dragon that's really cool hey they have a whole like row of the pull down game but what we've noticed, I know there's always a but, guys, but what we've noticed on the pull-down game here, if Crystal wants to try one, is if you do get it perfect, it doesn't matter. Because normally in this game, what you want to do, you want to get the thing onto the pink thing and you want it to pull down, right? Well, even if you get this one perfect, it doesn't pull down very much. Oh, you're going for the hardest ones. I love that. Oh, man. So mm -hmm. this one, the one with the, the metal chain is always harder. I high enough for that Pokemon plate. But yeah, like I was saying, watch it only pulls down a little bit. And that's only enough for like two pulls. Yes, if you ever do play this game, go for these up here. Don't go for the ball one unless you've gotten a lot of practice. That's a lot harder. So let's look at some of the figures. Hey, they got a Bakugo over here. Aww. I don't know if I've seen that one yet. Oh, this is a cool one right here. It's a collaboration between <laughs> Chikawa and My Hero Academia. Oh my god. I've been wanting to play this, but... Uh, I saw another arcade for 100. I don't want to play it here, really. And it's 200 here. Like, literally every figure is 200. And I'm telling you guys, what, they have Captain Ginyu? This one's brand new. What is that? Is that Dragon Ball? Yeah, we have, oh. to, we have to go to another arcade because this one's literally brand new. It hasn't, that's the first time I've seen it. But yeah, like I said, this one's more for tourists to come in because it's really, like, eye-shocking. These are, like, in every arcade. Uh, here they are, yeah. At the other arcade, I don't think they're 200. Yeah. 
Someone let us know what is this from because it's super popular. And in every arcade that we've come across that has it, they always have it by itself. You know, so it's one that you have to kind of work out little by little, which I know would be really hard to do. Oh wow, I didn't realize they had more small claws up here. And then they have another row of small claws right over there. So what is this? Some like anime? It looks like that might be a barista right there, Chris. Yeah, it's like, oh, what's this one? Is this a barista? Oh, it looks like it. Okay, you gotta go for the barista. I don't even know what it's from, but we're gonna try to win it. Yeah, this one looks really low, like the uh, the actual barrier. Yeah. So it's probably gonna pick it up and do the drop thing that it did earlier. Come on. Oh, but you see, it does bring it a little closer, and it's only 100 per play yeah. compared to the 200. Hey, there's a pom pom pyramid right there. You should have played that one instead. I know Sorry, there's Chris. A cinema roll behind, um, below me, too. Oh, there are Sanrio down there. I didn't even notice it. No! You see, like. That's how you're supposed to win these, little by little, and then eventually it's going to land on these little teeth over here, and it's going to take little by little on that too. Oh yeah, also on the second floor is where they have their gotcha selection. So they don't have a ton here. I mean, for some of you back home, you're like, whoa, that is so many, what are you talking about? But here in Japan, this is not really that many. This is like average, I would say. It is a lot. I mean, I would definitely think it's a lot, but it's, it's about average. Hey, Chris, we have to get one. Wait, which one do you see? I see the butter one. We've gotten this one in the past. The we don't have to get that one, but I, I just saw it. I was like, we got to get one. Okay, Chris, you want Tom and Jerry, you get Tom and Jerry. All right, do you want your ABC or do you want one of those? I really want Tom. Oh, this one's four coins. So that's we can play the claw machine twice, one of the big ones, or we can play the small one four times, or we can play this once. Which, which, I guess we're playing this, guys. This one. All right, so. Tom. Yeah, Tom would be the cool one. Oh, what? I think you got the last one. Did I? No, keep spinning. There it goes. Oh, okay. It came out, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you got, got one. Oh, it's actually small. It's one of Oh, can you see the letters inside? No, I can't. I can see green. It's this one, I believe. I think it's this one right I here. Know that it's one. either this one or that because because blue and yellow make green. It's probably Jerry. Oh, I Jerry. told you it was one of those. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's the second best. Yeah, so check it out. It's like Jerry on a thimble. Not a thimble. A uh, what do you call it? Or when you put the. Um. Your mom uses it at the show. What are they called? Uh, anyways, we got a Jerry here. So every time we come to Japan, these are becoming more and more popular. What it is is basically what Crystal just played. A gachapon, but a jumbo size. Crystal, get over there for size reference, because this thing is ginormous. But one play on this is 3,000 yen. At this moment, that's about 18 US dollars. But you had a chance to get a PlayStation 5. There is the PlayStation 5 if you get it. I guess you put the key in here and you redeem it. But anyway, some of the lower end stuff is actually what you would think, lower end. Like, I don't think I'd want to spend $18 on any of this. And you're most likely not even gonna get this stuff. So just think about that. You're probably gonna end up with a ball that's inside there that has like, I don't even know. You might be lucky to get a sticker. But they also do have some that cost a thousand yen, like this one right here. One play, one thousand yen. One thousand yen right now is like six sixty or seven, almost seven U.S. dollars. But look at the stuff in here. This is actually stuff that's kind of attainable. You know, it's got a figure, another figure. Guess what? Figures again. This is the one Crystal wants, and she wants to get the puck. So she needs to get a key that says number four. Looks like there's another miniature cube figure down there. Over here we have guess what? More figures, and we are going to do this one, guys. <laughs> Crystal, do you have the thousand? That's what I have. All right, so you put it in down there. All right, come on. Please work. Yes, it's working. You ready to spin this thing up? Chris, this is the biggest gotcha we've ever played in our life. Oh, it's big as your head. Keep spinning. Oh, did it come out? I heard something come out. Did it? I heard it go bonk. Oh, she has to, dang, she's all the way in there, guys. Okay, you got to shake it up for us, Chris. Does it have a key? I don't know. That's possibly a key, but most likely not a key. Okay, it's actually Oh, they don't want you to get into it. It must be a key. You think it so? has to be a key. It better be a key. It better be nothing but a key. Let me open it for you, Chris. Okay. You're just going to squeeze it. There you go. You got to be mad. What you got to be excited. Crazy. Oh, what is this? Oh, I don't They're think not it's a key. a key. It looks like a gossip one. A huge one. Oh, what is it? It's a girl. Uh, We're going to have to put this together. You know, on second thought, I don't <laughs> think we want to put this thing together. It's an old lady holding a baby. Oh, my God. And they are both, they both look like they're in pain. Ugh, and it comes with, it comes with a base and then like, I think that goes on top of her head yeah. right here. <laughs> Let's put this back in there. Oh, before we go up to the next floor, I want to show this like photo op they have here. So it's actually a claw machine and it even says up top it's a photo spot. Like look, you're in a claw machine. It's kind of funny though that they had to put so much merch so you, everyone knows where you're at. Yeah. Like, uh, come on, we, we just want to show a picture of us in a claw machine. All right, let's go up to the third floor, guys. I think up there they have like uh, arcade games, not claw machines. 
but they have the Pokemon game that you'll see so many people playing this game. Then they have the Dragon Ball one. They're card games, I believe. I think this one isn't a card. There's like little tokens. Oh, they have the photo booths over there as well. Oh yeah, and over there, that's where the games I was talking about are. Yeah, so they have this really fun punching game. This game is really fun. You just want to like, they have different things that you want to do. Sometimes you want to get the highest score. Sometimes you just want to hit hard enough to like destroy something. That's a fun game. Oh, they have air hockey up here. This is like one of the few arcades that has air hockey. That's pretty cool. But yeah, they have the drum game Taiko no Sujin or something like that. Then they have like Down the Clown but with Coke bottles. Mario Kart basketball over there. That's really cool. Oh, they got the train simulator. Chris, you went right by it. She doesn't care about that. <laughs> The uh, top shooting. Oh man, they have more of these over here. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, and then they have these games, which you know I'm really surprised every time we see these here in Japan. But it's like the uh, the 3D, 4D immersive games. Luigi's Mansion Arcade, The Dark Escape 3D. Oh yeah, and then we're back over here where the basketball is. Oh, and of course they have a racing game here, like a really good one. This game is really fun to watch people play because some people are so good at it. Yep. And they have another one. Wow, this one must be really popular. They have a Oh, oh, of it. Midnight Maximum Tune 6. What? I bet this thing is so fun. Oh, look at this. I didn't even know they had this here. I think it's similar to like the Pokemon and all that, but more cutesy. All right, guys, let's go back down. We're going all the way to the basement. All right, we're coming up on the basement. Be warned, guys. Are you ready to be amazed by all this? So this actually looks so crazy to me. So this is a game called Beat Mania. Uh, Epolis, or I actually don't know what it says up there, but it's beat me. But look at this, guys, it looks so cool. But they have them like so close to each other, it looks insane. Here's a row, there's two, there's two, there's two, there's two, there's two, there's two more. It's just so cool looking. And then over here, they have some DDR 20th anniversary version. This is a limited edition gold one. I actually don't know if it's limited edition, but it makes me want to go play because how cool. That's what I was saying. This is it out of a gotcha. This is the one you want to get, the gold one, because that's the cool one. Over here, they have a whole line of these My My games. Oh, My My My. This guy is going ham on it. Oh, my gosh. Look at this, guys. Does this look crazy or what? So over here, they have a game called Luminous or something. And this is like a keyboard type game. So you want to hit right where it says to hit. Oh, I'm actually not trying to play. Oops. <laughs> and then over here, it's like a very similar thing. Crystal, are you playing? No. Oh, you're just acting like I see. But yeah, similar. Like, and actually, the keys are reactive. Right? And then you got to, what, the, the fader and everything? Oh, my gosh. This thing would be so hard. But it looks really neat to see people play it because people are so good at these games. They're like double handing it. I mean, it's crazy. So I believe this game is like an online game where people play and they're playing against other people. And it's like, I think it's kind of like StarCraft in a way where you like control your army down here and you're like positioning them and you're playing other people. I don't know that for 100%, but I think that's how it plays because I saw a couple people playing it and it feels like they're playing real people. That or the other person, like the computer is really good and they react so instantly. It looks really cool though if you see people play this game. And this is the last area. Oh my gosh, what is this? Hold on, Chris, I gotta see what this is. This looks extreme to overboost. This looks so cool. So we played a version of this long time when we were in Akihabara once, yeah. where you, you're actually like playing as the uh, the Gundam there, and you control yourself. But this is like a standing up version. Oh wait, it's, this is the same game. Yeah, this is the game we played, I think, but we didn't play the stand up version. Oh my gosh, that would be so fun. Yeah, we played it once and we just got demolished. Because again, I think you're playing against other people that are currently online. Because I believe all these are hooked up across everywhere, all the arcades in Japan. But dang, there's so many of them. I bet this gets super popular at nighttime or on the weekend. Oh, and it looks like this might be another version of the game. There's not very many of this one, so maybe it's not as popular, but this up here. How cool does that Gundam look? And then the lights coming on and off. Oh, that's super neat. Oh, we were just about to head back up, guys, and we just noticed. I believe this is from an anime called Jojo something. Yeah, like Jojo World, I So think. do you get to play it as a... Oh, and you know, if you're really into this anime, this, this one would be so cool. cool. It has some graphics up here. They only have two at this arcade, so it must not be that popular. Why has it got a mic on this one? Can you sing in the game? Is your singing used as a weapon? Because Crystal would have the best weapon. I feel like on the way back to the stairs, we're finding a lot more games that we just passed by. Like this one's called Fate Grand Order Arcade. 
for some reason, when I first saw it, I thought of Final Fantasy. That's just what it looks like to me. But it looks like it's a card game of some kind. But then you have this, like, knob. I don't know. I just thought I'd show you guys. Before we head up, Angel's going to play this drum game. I bet he does bad, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this game is really popular here, guys, and people are so good at it. He's not doing so bad right now. Drum it up! What chop? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh! Oh, 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 oh. He's really into it now. Oh, here comes a tapper. Drummer. Oh, how well did you do? I think I passed because you see all that rainbow color up yeah. there? Yeah. Okay, I'm done. Time to go back up to the claw machine. Claw machine time. Let's find something that we can win. Oh, we're going to go for a Curious George here. I'm curious to see if I can win. <laughs> the winning it doesn't go any further back though because they have it stuffed so much back there. Yeah, there's a ton of Curious Georges back there. But my thought process is if I can get the feet over it a little bit, yeah. I should be able to get the rest over it. Oh, oh, I actually made it go further away. He's trying again for old Curious George here. Get those legs over. Yeah, I just need to bring it to the right just a little bit. Yeah, that's a good pickup. Oh, 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 it's doing a headstand. I want to try one more time, guys. This thing's not working with me. It's like I said, it 200. keeps getting further and further away. I'm gonna go all the way down. Yeah, maybe don't I was double tap. tap it. Sometimes you have to let it go all the way down. Let's see. Oh, don't grab the ball. Come yes. on, this way. Please. Whoa, look at his face. It's close to the prize shoe now. Oh, okay. Heck yeah. I'm going to have to go for that big head now. I'm actually going to try to do like the, more of the drag over it. Okay. So I'm not going to go right over it. You see one arm's over there. And he's not double tapping this time either. Come on, come on. Let's see, will it? Oh, man. It's not hey, pulling. I got a ball. It thinks I won <laughs> when I got the ball. If this doesn't move this dang curious George, we're going to leave it. I agree with that. <laughs> Oh, I hit the prize. Oh, shoot. my gosh. Please just move it to the Wait, right. it's still picking it up, though. This is good. Oh, look, you got his paper more over. Oh, I don't want <laughs> to. It's so expensive. What is it actually? Oh, it's drawing a banana on Oh, there. of course it is. It's a monkey. I didn't realize that's what I was drawing. <laughs> Let's see if you can get it now, though. I'm actually trying to get between the, uh, the hand gap there. Oh, okay. The little arm gap. Yeah. Yes. yes. Oh, I actually got into it. Cool. If but it's I'm not telling you guys, on there. if this doesn't get onto the price shoe, I'm done. <laughs> Please. Come on. I bought this thing at this point. Oh no, you put it basically in a bad position. This is a fun game. Angel has to use that little plunger there and hit it on the yellow target. And oh. it'll tip the Pringles. And we like Pringles. Who doesn't like Pringles? Yeah. Alright, so I almost had it there, I was just a little off. That was so cool. Ooh. Oh. 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 Oh, you're, no. Oh, you almost had that one. No, that's my bring dogs. I want it back. <laughs> so right. the cool thing about this game is you don't have to get it directly on the yellow thing. It'll still shift it around as long as you hit the red platform. Oh, yeah. And it will jiggle the uh, Pringles around. Yeah, if you actually hit the yellow, though, it tilts the platform. Yes, and that's super cool. Let's see if you can get it here. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That oh, was, was a, close. I was a little too uh, late on that one. Yeah. Let's go a little earlier. Come on. Oh, that's oh. Okay, this is my last one. Because we could have just bought them, actually. <laughs> I know. But hey, if you get like five Pringles to get knocked down, that would be super awesome. Oh, it's just barely go. Like, oh, that one's about to fall, guys. That green one. Yeah, so if I just don't even hit it, but I get it that at the one right, right there. Yeah, so I got to go around. I'm going to go right when it's like around here. So okay. If I don't hit it directly, it should still get it. Heck yeah. Oh. Ah, <laughs> Good timing. How about that, guys? Spend like 10, 10 coins and you get one thing of Pringles that you can get in the store for like three. Oh, we're back over here for this Mickey, guys. I told you we are going to play for this thing. Come on. There's also a mini back there. It's the same style. Oh, so yeah. Crystal's first going to win the Mickey here. I hope you're right about this. Yeah, I hope so. Oh, oh my. It did not even pick and it up, guys. It doesn't even go back to like pick up Yeah, so it only goes like left and right. So you can play again. No, I'm not playing that. Forget that Mickey. We're going for the bear from the Minions. I actually don't know the name of this bear. I don't know the name of it either. If someone can let us know. Please do. Okay. But she's going for the one with the pink hat. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh yeah. No. Oh, okay. I'm okay. It's actually not bad. Why does one have a pink hat and one have a blue hat? Yeah, I don't know. Isn't there only one of these in the show or the movie? I don't know. You guys. I mean, we've seen a lot of these bears in other arcades here, yeah. so it makes sense. Or at least like a, something on like Netflix or something, right? Yeah. All right, because this is a bigger version of it. Here we go. 
It's letting go already, but it's still holding. Oh, look how close it is. He's going straight for the grab. I think one arm might go to the left. That's all right. Are you double tapping it? All right. I wasn't sure if it was stopping that early or not. Hey, this flops. Yeah, flop it forward, please. Oh, now it's doing a face plant. Okay, so one arm went on the other side, which might not be bad. Hopefully it'll still pick it up. Oh, Ooh, oh. Tip it, tip it. Oh, oh I went further away. You know what? We're going to play one more claw machine here, guys, because things just aren't going our way. I know. It's a super cool looking arcade, but maybe not the coolest to let us win. Boom. But you know what's really cool? I this whip on candy. this pancake. <laughs> oh, let's see. Come on, pancake. Oh, my God. Look how close it got, guys. Oh, there's actually a... I didn't realize there was a space there. Oh, all the way down there's a space there. That's actually neat. I hope the car reaches it. It should, because right. it doesn't go any close... Oh, actually... It should reach it, right? Yeah, yeah, that's definitely going to reach it. It'll, it'll slide down the front, at least. Okay. Good luck. Come on. Yeah, you definitely got a grab on it. Oh, it might be better than the last grab. We'd need it to go that way. Come on, yes, yes, yes. Oh, you reset it. What the heck, Chris? We don't have to get them to reset it when you do it yourself. Uh, it's only my last play. All right. I, I feel like this is a bad position to try to grab for it, though. Yeah. Did you double tap it the very first time? I did. All right. This time, I'm going to just let it go all the way down. Please. Oh, it goes a lot deeper. Wow, I did not expect that. Let's see. Will it actually... Oh. oh. Maybe double tap not the way to go. No. Whoa. Do you have to go again? Yeah. yeah. I think double tap might not work. Is this the last play? Find out after she's finished playing because we don't know. We don't know until it decides for us. If this thing resets it, Chris, last play. I know. It like, go all the way down because of the Oh, yeah, it hit up here, but it could still grab because yeah. it's always really strong initially. Yes, 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 yes. <gasps> oh, look at this. It's right there. I have a feeling this is going to be good. You're going straight for a grab. I don't know. Oh, I see. I would have done the opposite, but you try to win it, Chris. Okay. Yeah, see, what I would have done is I would have gone more to the left to try to slide more down it. But she's doing more oh. of like a direct grab, which could be good. Come on. Let's see if it actually pick it. Oh, oh it pick it yeah, with that in mind, actually what I would have done wouldn't have worked either because two of my arms would have went over here and it wouldn't have picked it up. So what are you going to do here? You kind of have to go for a full grab yeah, based on that. Because it won't do anything otherwise. That's annoying. Right, Come on, go. please. Let's see what happens. Please, let's win it here. <laughs> okay, this should get a grab. grab it should be. Okay, yes, it's underneath the cool whip. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, we reset it. Uh, we basically put it in the exact same spot <laughs> it was when we started. Oh, look at this. We almost missed this section. We kind of walked right by it. It's a lot of more small claw machines. Hey, there's a crystal right there. But I think we are done in here. We're not really having much luck. Well, guys, that is definitely a very cool looking arcade. A ton of claw machines. All the different levels makes it a lot of fun. But here's the only thing we want today. <laughs> A uh, little annoyed by that. Well, we got that little pastry keychain oh, too. Oh, that's right. Yeah. We did get a little pastry keychain. <laughs> and we got something from the gotchas, yes. which doesn't really count as a win because we <laughs> kind of bought it. Mm -hmm. But we hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. Bye, Bye guys.